Greetings. In this video, we will go over the performance alerts for the digital race engineer. In the launcher, the page called Performance Alerts is where you can select to get information about racing performance of you and others. The Alert New Lab gives you a randomized chunk of information whenever you cross the start finish line. Information spans from lap times, gaps to other cars, fuel usage, and so on. You can define the probability of this happening as well. 100% means Dre will let you know every time you cross the line, while for example 50% means that every time you cross the line, there is a 50% chance to hear the information. The best lap alert is straightforward, in that it tells you whenever you improve your best lap time. The laps left countdown can give an alert of the number of laps left in this session. An interval can be defined, so it alerts you every 5 laps in this instance. Furthermore, it's possible to count down in practice and qualification sessions as well by enabling this toggle. Toggle these two on to hear whenever leaders change. The off-track alerts not only tells you if you go off-track, so you don't have to look at the iRacing chat, but it also announces the number of incidents you have so far. And if you get near the incident limit for the session, this alert can warn you. The alert incident threshold is the number of incidents points below the limit that this should be triggered at. When you change position, you can hear it either in practice and races, as well as in qualifications. Great job, number one. For qualis, for maximum focus on hot lapping, in my situation, I have this turned off. The sector drop-off will warn you about certain sectors where you seem to be slower than usual. This might reveal if you have issues with your setup as the car will gradually underperform in these sectors. Alternatively, it could point to that you've gotten into a bad habit of taking some corners in that sector the wrong way. The threshold percentage defines how much slower the 5 laps median sector time should be to your optimal sector time, that is, your quickest sector time. When you improve on your optimal sector time in a sector, with this enabled, Dre will inform you. This is a feel-good alert because you know that you are improving your times. Similar, if your sector time was the best in class since Dre started collecting times, you can hear it with this enabled. That was a class purple last sector. This can create a good understanding of where you gain time on the track compared to other quick drivers. The sector vulnerability alert will give a heads up when you are close to a car in front or behind. In a sector, if you are considerably faster than the car in front, Dre will tell you. Also, if the car behind you is much faster than you are in a sector, this will also trigger. It's a great help to understand where to attack in front and where to defend from behind. Driving on track and passing cars, enabling the warning for low I rating can help you understand how much buffer to put in when overtaking or being overtaken by other cars. If a driver has a considerably lower I rating or safety rating, this will warn you. You can define the threshold yourself by dragging the slider. Finally, the other driver's time loss scans the five cars ahead and behind your position and checks if they lost considerably time on the last lap. When not in the vicinity of other cars, this can help you to understand if other cars are pushing over the limit and losing time. This is much more than a feel-good alert as it gives you a great understanding on the competition around you, even if they're not close to you. That's all for the performance alerts in Dre. Until next time, happy racing!